Hi everyone, in today's Arduino tutorial, we will learn how to make a wireless connection between two Arduino boards by using the NRF24L01 modules. For explaining the wireless connection, it will send a signal to turn on the LED from one Arduino board to another. Now let's start. Now let's see what are the pins in the NRF24L01 and PA plus LNA modules. In these modules, the pins are the same. But this module works in a short range. In this module, it works nearly 1 km. Now let's see what are the pins. This is the ground, VCC, CE, CSN, SCK, MOSI, MISO, IRQ. Now let's see the wiring diagram. This is the wiring diagram. You can click the link in the description below to download the wiring diagram and the code. Here I have NRF24 L012 modules. Two Arduino boards, push button, LED bulb and a breadboard. Now let's assemble it. Now I am connecting the VCC pin to the 3.3 volt in the Arduino board. Then I am connecting the ground pin to the Arduino board. Now I am connecting the CE pin to the 9th pin in the Arduino board. Then I am connecting the CSN pin to the 10th pin in the Arduino board. Now I am connecting the SCK pin to the 13th pin in the Arduino board. Then I am connecting the MOSI pin to the 11th pin in the Arduino board. Then the last pin MISO pin to the 12th pin in the Arduino board. Now I am fixing the push button to the breadboard. And here you can see I am connecting one side of the push button to the ground pin in the Arduino board. And the other side of the push button I am going to connect it to the 8th pin in the Arduino board. Now take the other Arduino board and here I am going to connect the other module to the Arduino board as previous one. I am connecting the LED bulbs cathode side to the ground and the anode side of the LED bulb to the 8th pin in the Arduino board. Now let's write the code. Now I am going to tools and manage library. Then I am searching NRF24L01. Now you can see RF24. Then you have to install the latest version. Then I am including SPI library. Then I am including NRF24L01 library. Then I am including RF24 library. 
Now I'm creating an object. The object's name is transmitter. In the brackets 9 and 10 because I have connected to the 9th and 10th pin. Now I'm defining const array variable. The type is byte. The variable name is address. Then I am writing the address name Veron. Then I am defining bun 8 because I have connected to the 8th pin. Then I am writing in the void setup serial.begin in the brackets 9600. Then I am writing the pin mode button input underscore pull up. Then I am writing transmitter.begin. Then I am writing transmitter.open writing pipe, then the address name. Then I am writing transmitter.set data rate to 250 kilobits per second. That means it can work in a long range. You can use 1 megabit per second or 2 megabit per second. Now I'm writing transmitter dot set channel to 108. You can choose between 0 to 124. Then I am writing transmitter dot set power amplifier level to max because I am using max to work in a long range. You can use mini, low, or high and max. Now I am writing transmitter dot stop listening. I wrote stop listening because it is a transmitter. The receiver has to listen to the transmitter. So I put stop listening. Now I am writing in the void loop a if condition. Now I am writing digital read in the brackets button. If the value is equal to zero. Serial dot print ln digital read in the brackets button. Then I am defining const array variable. The type is char. The variable name is text. Then the text value is press. Then I am writing transmitter dot write and text size of text. Then I am putting a delay for 200 milliseconds. Now I am going to tools. And selecting Arduino Nano board. Then I am going to tools and selecting the port COM16. Then verifying the code if it is correct. Then I am uploading the code. Uploading. Uploading done, no errors. Now I'm copying the code and paste it in the receiver code. The codes are the same in the both codes, but there are small differences between these codes. Now I'm changing the object name to receiver.
Now I'm changing open writing pipe to open reading pipe. Now I'm changing stop listening to start listening. Now I'm changing button to LED. Now I'm defining int variable. The variable name is LED flag. Then equal zero. Now I'm changing button to LED. Now I'm changing input underscore pull up to output. Now I'm writing in the void loop a if condition. If the receiver is available, then I'm defining char array variable. The variable name is text. Then I'm writing receiver.read and text size of text. Then I am writing serial.println text. Now I am writing another if condition. LED flag is equal to 0. Then I am writing LED flag equal 1. Then turn on the LED. Otherwise, then I am writing LED flag 0, then turn off the LED. Now you can see the address name is the same. You have to put the address name and the data rate and the channel and the PA level same in the both codes. Now I'm selecting tools and going to board and selecting Arduino Uno and going to port and selecting COM7. Now I'm verifying the code. Ah, I forgot to put some parameters. You have to put 0 comma. Now again I'm gonna verify the code. Now you can see the code is correct. Now I'm gonna upload the code. Now let's see how does it works. Now you can see when I push the button the LED bulb will turn on and turn off. That's all for today. I hope you learned something from this video.
If you like this video, please support my channel. It really really does help. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching.